guys and welcome back to my channel. So for this rock, I'm using <clears throat> a molded rock um, from the Happy Dotting Company. I'll have the link listed below. Uh, it's a full set of different size and shape rocks. I really love that uh, that that particular mold. I've been using it a lot lately. And I'm mixing up epoxy, just a very small amount of epoxy. And you definitely want to make sure that you wear gloves um, and a respirator uh, due to the fumes that they put off. Just your PPEs, your typical PPEs that you would use for uh, mixing epoxy. Um, I did a very thin coat of epoxy, and now I'm taking a baby blue glitter. This is from Glitter Grand, and I cannot remember the name of it. I can't see it on the bottle, um, but I will link it below. Most of the glitters I get are from Glitter and Grand. Um, because it's a dollar fifty an ounce, which is the best pricing I've been able to find so far. So, again, this is just a baby blue, and you just want to get a good coverage of the glitter on the rock. And it's kind of hard because I wanted to make sure that the sides were glittered. So there's, so it you know it's hard to hold the rock with the epoxy on it and glittered at the same time. So you kind of have to fidget with it a little bit. And then I'm going to just dump the remaining glitter back into our container. And then we're going to let this rock sit overnight and let it cure. Now you could use a UV resin with a UV light and that would speed up this process. But I just went ahead and let it sit overnight. So now it's the next day and... Everything is dry, all the epoxy is cured, and I've mixed up another batch of epoxy, and I put a very thin coat of epoxy on the rock, very thin, and now I've divided up the remaining epoxy into four different colors, and this is Precious, also by Glitter Grand, and I'm just drizzling it across the rock in thin, thin little lines. And this is feisty. And again, I'm just going to go across in a diagonal. I'm sorry, my bird is really chatty right now. Um, uh, Harley, that's too loud. Um, sorry. And we're just going to go Again, across next to the pink stripes, we're taking the purple to create this Milky Way effect. And you want to make sure that your, your lines aren't all symmetrical. You can see kind of starting out, my lines are kind of all spaced evenly apart. You want to avoid that. So I have to do something to kind of break that up so it doesn't look like stripes oops sorry stripes on the rock and now I'm taking this is a mica powder and it's just a, a it's a blue that color shifts to purple and then we're you take that just put it alongside the purple in just a random fashion again making sure not to create a pattern with it uh, you want it to be more organic. And now I'm taking, this was just a white, um, titanium white mixed a thin amount of, or, or not thin, but a, a very little amount because you want the epoxy to have kind of a, a translucent look, or the, the uh, white epoxy to have kind of a translucent look to it. So you just want to add a little bit of titanium white to the epoxy.
And now I'm taking a heat gun. This is an embossing heat gun. And what we're going to do is push those stripes around a little bit. Since there's epoxy already on the rock and then you're adding more lines of epoxy, it will move. When you start heating it up, it'll start to move and kind of smear those lines a little bit. And now you want to clean up the edges because you'll push some of that epoxy off the sides of the rock. So you definitely want to clean it up. And I have mine sitting on butcher paper with the shiny side up. And it, the, it, the rock won't stick to the, to the paper. So now I'm taking a little bit of the chameleon. Uh, this is chunky glitter. And I'm just sprinkling it in a random fashion just over the rock just to add a little little something extra I guess <clears throat> and then you want to make sure that that chunky glitter is laying down flat otherwise you'll have sharp edges so now I let that cure overnight and then I took my saying which this says uh, let your soul shine and I use transfer Sorel transfer paper to transfer that the text onto my rock since it's got epoxy on it it's hard to write on the rock with like a pencil or a chalk pencil or anything so I find it easier to just use the Sorel <coughs> excuse me the Sorel transfer paper to uh, get the lettering on there and I'm just going to I'm just going to paint in all of my lettering in black first. And I'm using, this is one of those disposable eyeliner brushes, and I'll have those linked below. I get them off of Amazon. And I really like these for doing this really thin lettering because um, the bristles have just the right stiffness and spring to it that it makes it really easy uh, to do this real fine thin lettering. Now that the black is all done and dry, I'm just taking titanium white and I'm going to go over all of the lettering 
inside of the black with the white. And I, the goal is to have a thin line of black outlining the white lettering. And don't worry if you get out, if you make your lettering too thick and you cover up the black, I'm going to go back in and re-outline in the areas where my paint got a little too thick. just going back in and kind of touching up some of the areas uh, cleaning up the white and then I'll go back in and clean up the black areas where it was too thin and this part just gets a little fussy it takes a little time to kind of get everything perfected
So now that my rock's done, I'm going to go in and put my signature on. And I want my signature to be really thin, so I printed it all out on, this is called water slide paper. And you soak it in water, and then it'll slide off of the backing and right onto your rock. And then I did another thin coat of epoxy to seal in all the lettering and the signature. That way I can get a really fine signature on the rock. And here's the finished uh, the finished results. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one.